How many pencils wide is the window? Let's find out with the help of the pencil. One, two, three, four, five, six. The window is six pencils wide. How many steps is the distance between the two pods? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the distance between the two pods is six steps. Measurement Length Length Use a thread to compare the length of the four sides of the slate. Which are the longer sides of the slate? Yes, these are the longer sides of the slate. Which sides of the slate are of equal length? These sides of the slate are of equal length. And these sides of the slate are of equal length. Compare the lengths of the four sides of the object shown below. Now this is a table. These are the longest sides of the table. And these are the shorter sides of the table. Now these two sides of the table are equal. And these two sides of table are equal. This is a compass box. These two sides of the compass box are longer. These two sides of compass box are equal. And these two sides of compass box are equal. This is a book. These two sides of the book are longer. And these two sides of the book are of equal length. And these two sides of the book are of equal length. Here is a closed book. These two sides of the closed book are shorter. And these two sides of the closed book are longer. Now these two sides of the closed book are equal. And these two sides of closed book are equal. Now, let us measure the height of the table with the help of hand spans. Now, here is Nandu. He is trying to measure the height of the table with the help of hand spans. Now, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. The height of the table is equal to six of Nandu's hand spans. Now it's Sanju's turn. Sanju is measuring both the sides of the table one by one. Now the first side of the table. One, two, three, four. One side of the table is four hand spans long. Now Sanju is measuring the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the other side is more than six hand spans long. Measurement Length Hey kids, have you ever played Tip Cat? It's an interesting game, no? Let's play it together. When playing Tip Cat, 
Use the stick to find out how far the cat is from the starting notch. Here is the starting notch. And here is the cat. Now let us measure how far the cat is from the starting notch. Let's do it with the help of stick. One, two, three, four. The cat is four sticks away from the starting notch. Now, similarly, we can measure the length of the table with the help of forearm. Now, here, how many lengths of the forearm is the table? Let us see the table. Let us measure the table with the help of forearm. One, two, three, four. The length of the table is four forearms. How many hand spans is the length of the same table? Now we will measure the length of the same table with the help of hand span. As the hand span is smaller in size as compared to forearm, the more hand span will be required to measure the length of the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The length of the table is 12 hand spans.